Okay, so this is Alice. We were talking a little bit about if Alice jumps up on the guardian's uh, shins when she wants attention. When a dog does that, it's kind of a cute way of, of asking for attention. Now, if we pet the dog every time she jumps up on us, then after a while we're telling her this is the way to ask humans for attention is by jumping up on them. So what I do is I like to practice something I call petting with a purpose. So I consider petting a dog our way of paying the dog, or for little ones, I like to say petting our dog is our way of saying thank you. You don't say thank you before someone gives you a candy bar, right? We say thank you after they give us the candy bar. All right. So I've got the treats here. So what I'm going to do is and redirect her over here. Come on. Over. There you go. Come on. All right. Sit. 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 There we go. You're not sure if you want that or not, huh? You'd be, the, you'd be one of the first dogs to not like it. Mm -hmm. Little bits of it. Oh, no, but you got to eat that piece first. Okay, well, I'll eat. So um, when a dog pr is proud about what it's done, his nose is parallel to the ground or tilted upward. So you've probably seen her with a toy with her nose in the air. Mm -hmm. So that means she feels really good about herself. I want her to feel good about the things that I like, to, that we want to. I call these desired behaviors. So whenever possible, I like to pet a dog underneath its chin that facilitates that nose up orientation because I want her to feel good and proud for sitting or laying down or coming to me. So every time that she comes to you guys in the future and she jumps up on you, instead of petting her, ask her to sit. Let's see if I can do it now that she's eaten one treat. Let me, there we go. Sit, sit. So again, I scratch her under her chin. Now, if I'm gonna give her a treat, like I just dropped, I hold it in my hand about here and then I go over her head, sit. So I, I, I raise it over her head to put her into a sit. A lot of dogs, when you raise your hand over their head, they track up with their eyes, and that puts them into a sitting position. As soon as she, her butt hits the ground, we want, to give her, we want to give her the command. Sit. Sit. I'm just using one finger to tickle. Um, now we can ask her to sit, we can ask her to lay down, or come to us if she's far away, but if we're doing this as petting uh, for pay, or uh, uh, petting with a purpose, she's already here, she's asking for it. So, but if we do it when she jumps up on us, then we're, again, training her a lifetime of jumping up on humans to get attention. There we go. Sit, sit. So as soon as the butt hits the ground, then we wanna make sure we start petting her and give her the treat. Now, if we pet, give her the treat and pet her simultaneously, eventually the scratching under the chin becomes analogous with the treat. So. And at first she might protest a little bit, like, hey, what do you got my, your hand underneath my, uh, my chin for? Where'd she, where'd she go? You're making it difficult to be a cameraman. Where are you at? Okay. Um, now, after a while, what's gonna happen, she's just gonna come start sitting in front of you, looking at you, saying, look, I'm sitting. Shouldn't I be getting attention? And the answer is, yes, she should. At least some of the time. So we wanna make sure we pet her when she's engaging in these desired activities, otherwise she'll still give up on it. Petting with a purpose is probably the easiest thing that you can do that will have the biggest impact on your dog in a beneficial way. Now again, what I do is like, sit, sit. So I just rock my hand up over her head. As soon as she sat, I reached down and started to pet her. So if you guys get in the habit of doing that, what will happen is you'll start doing that without even saying anything to her. You just raise your paw, your hand up, your paw, your hand up over her head, and then she'll sit down. Now, if you get into a real habit of doing that, you'll do it without even thinking. You'll carry on a conversation with your son, your daughter, or somebody else. At the same time, you're, you're having a little lesson and you're introducing the leader follower dynamic that you're looking for. You have to earn my attention. You have to earn my praise. It's not something I'm going to give you for no reason. Just like your kids, you don't give them. Uh, uh, dessert before they finish their meal. They have to eat their meal first and then they get the jello or whatever it is. Um, so this is probably the thing that will have the biggest impact for the least amount of time. And if you get in the habit of doing it for the rest of the dog's life, you'll have a little mini training session over and over hundreds of times a day without even thinking about it. Right, Alice? Just like, whatever. I got my pink elephant. I'm happy.